So, the Carolina Panthers, you know, we, we talked about it for a while. Frank Wright is the new coach. So, mm-hmm. so we talked the vest I heard prior to the conference yesterday, the uh, press conference of announcing him and him being there. And was uh, yesterday at 12 noon. And everybody was ready with bated breath to see what was going to happen, mm-hmm. what he was going to say. <laughs> and, you know, they killed me. They, they still get me with this resume about his, his daughter. I and know. His sons and his sons. You know, the first quarterback. I'm like, man, okay, we got it. We got it. You got to put some meat on the bones. You don't have enough meat to put on the bones. That's, right, that's, right. That, that's what happens. But a couple of things that I was really curious about came up in the, in the uh, press conference yesterday. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of sound bites on uh, what David, David Tepper said. Uh, one in particular on what Frank uh, Wright brings to the coaching position. This is what uh, David Tepper had to say about that. He's a man of incredible integrity, an okay. incredible family man, um, a person that we could tell has great process and a great way of doing things. Um, you know, that, that basically has, you know, a guy that basically checks all the boxes and a guy that you really want to basically help build a culture and help lead a team, um, hopefully for the next few years and beyond. Hmm. A man of integrity. Mm-hmm. Family man. Okay. I guess that's I mean I think those things are important, but calling plays and yeah, drawing let's talk about football. <laughs> I just I I'm still trying to figure it figure that one out. President, what's he on? I am still trying to figure that one out. But here's the question everybody wanted to know. Definitely I wanted to know the answer to. Mm-hmm. This David Tepper on how Steve Wilkes came to uh maybe not getting a head coaching job process we went to, like I said, had to do with how we having coaches in here and looking at the future. And that was the process we went through. Everybody, you know, presented who they had and what they were thinking to help us win in the future. And we really made that decision based on that. So, okay, so Steve didn't have, he didn't have any flow charts. Uh, 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 a list of guys that he's going to bring with him, or keep with him, so to, so to speak. So because Frank Wright, I guess, I mean, this is he me. He came with a plan. I, I'm, 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 I'm kind of deciphering this. He came with a plan, mm-hmm. the future. <laughs> and uh, and uh, and apparently if you come in with a, with a flow chart, PowerPoint presentation, flow chart, uh-huh. talking about, and the, and the guys, he's already, I've, I, I had my office going there, I had my defense going there, I had uh-huh. all these guys, which I think he's going to call a place, but he, he came in with, with his whole team already. He was prepared, Reese. He had a plan. Let's take a listen to even more more information relative to that. Let's take a listen. As far as calling plays, um, I'm going to wait to see that we get the offensive staff together. Obviously, I've always enjoyed doing that. Felt like I've had a good bit of success doing that um, and enjoy doing that. Um, it feels to me there's a little bit of a trend going away from that. I, I want to re- continue to re-examine that, and it just depends on how the staff comes together and the coordinator thing. I'm excited about the prospects of some of the guys um, that are out there um, that could be our offensive coordinator. So I'll wait to make the final decision on that. So apparently he had a list of people, but he hadn't decided on who he's bringing. Mm-hmm. So that kind of flies a little bit what David Tepper was talking about. But David Tepper, he had, he had other reasons for Pam. Why he just he wanted to go in, in a different direction, I think, right? Yeah. Well, this was interesting to me. I read this article and uh-huh. it made me want to pull a Reese. Uh oh. You know, you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I was like saying words. I was like, really? <laughs> so he also talked about in this article that uh, his goal he's trying to end the old boys network. He's trying to end the old old boys network. Mm-hmm. And what is the old boys network? I'm glad you asked. It's mostly white owners that have a history of not putting minority candidates in positions of power. And so uh, uh, Graham has another sound bite, and then I'll talk to you more about the article. It's every year we get in these NFL meetings, okay, and every year they put some new rule to benefit the offense every single year, every single year. And it's never going to end. It's never going to end, okay, every year. And the reason it is is scoring – brings eyeballs, okay? That's what the league's about, getting eyeballs to watch the thing. So I can tell you again, the new rules will be offense-minded rules. I don't know what they are yet, but they will be offense-minded rules. So you have that challenge 
you know, first. And then the second challenge you have is, and I made this mistake, you know, I think it's a mistake to have a CEO type head coach, okay? That's a mistake, just in general. That's what I kind of believe. So I think you want to get somebody who's really good on offense or really good on defense. That's interesting. It's, it's two, it's, it's two uh, uh, thoughts I have on that. Let's get back on your point. I'm, I'm touching on because I'm okay. glad you played that. So when you talk about the good old boys club, yeah. um, you talk about black head coaches, what are the three? There's three right now, right? So you got Ty Bowles, um, Mike Tomlin, and now, congratulations, uh, Tamika Ryan. Yes, Tamika Ryan. Tamika Ryan. And then if you want Mike, McDaniel is still considered. Well, right. he, he he's said he's a. Uh, he, so we yeah, have to include him in, between, in the conversation. Yeah. Right. But what Tepper is saying that he's done is that his executive team is one of the most diverse executive teams in the NFL. He has Keisha Smith. She's a black woman who's the senior vice president that oversees human resources. He has his wife. She's the chief administrative officer. That's a she's a woman minority. Sure. And Tanya Taylor, um, general counselor is a, a black woman. So he's saying that's how you break the roles. <laughs> uh, the uh, old boys no. network. You break the process by getting the best people Yeah, in every role you but can, no. whether it's black or white, you have that mix. Yeah, but some, uh, you know, this just ends. Some people may be surprised. There are some good black people. Right, that, exactly. That, that you could and, get. and you didn't name they, any they, coaches. Right. You were just talking about your executive staff. So, and so <laughs> yeah. So to that point, you see why I wanted to pull the Earl uh, Reese. Yeah, I'm I like, know. what are you talking yeah, I mean, about, that, dude? I mean, that that that's crazy. And it flies in the face to what Graham just played. Mm-hmm. And I I understand it is an offensive minded league, quarterback league. They want to run. The, they want to score. So they want to be exciting because more eyeballs on that. But sometimes you want a good defensive game too. You know, uh, nail biter. So you say either, either you got to have an offensive minded coach or a defensive minded coach. But Tepper, you had a defensive minded coach right there on staff. That was Steve Wilson, who was phenomenal. Right. And uh, and just bring in an offensive guy as a coordinator to work with him. So I understand. I think he was trying to, he anticipated these questions. I think, uh, I mean, obviously he's a very smart guy, but sometimes you kind of talk your way. You think you're talking your way out of? You kind of talk your way into it because that That's that, good. that that did not make sense to me what he just said. <laughs> Trying to defend Frank right now, I'll be the first person to say this time last year, next year, man, that was a great that was a great mm-hmm. choice. But I, but we could have said the same thing about Steve Woods. I'm going based on recent history. If I look at the recent history of Steve Wilkes, he won more games, you know, than than Frank Wright did who, before he got fired. It just it makes no sense to me, and um, but you know what? He's a man of integrity. Mm-hmm. He's a man. <laughs> <I mean, come laughs> and that's America. That's what he said. This is America. Yeah, and, and you know what? <laughs> and Frank Wright is the right person for right. the job. And, and, that's and, what he's and saying. I, and I like him. Mm-hmm. I and and uh, you know, he talking about he trying to. The old boy network, that's part of the old boy network. Yeah, but that's what he's saying. He's like, I got a diverse team. You got to look at the whole no, picture, oh, okay. Reese. No, oh, just okay. look at the coaches, the coaching staff. Look at my entire staff. Look at my executive team, and, and I've got, you know. Somebody over HR? The, HR, How the legal. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> what does HR and legal have to do with what, what's going on on the field is my question. Somebody tell me that. Now, if, if, if it's a GM or the president, I get that. If it's the uh, – you know, assistant GM or head coach, I get that. But if you if you over finances, <laughs> you work in the, the calendar department, and you look over the, what the hell I got to do with what making an impact of people of color impacting the game on the damn field. That's why I want to know. I'm just saying what he said. This is how you break the rules, Reese. The process by trying to get the best people. You're worried about the wrong thing, Reese. You got to yeah, get the I am. best people in every role. I get that. And that's that. what he's doing. Every role. But 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 the Rooney rule has nothing to do with um, <laughs> uh, who you hire in, in like in accounting. <laughs> exactly. Or who you hire for, in facilities. Uh, those th- those are the easy ones. Well, we'll put you know, overall, if you look at our organization overall, we have – we have uh, three minorities in high high end positions, and, not, and women. And, and, yeah, well, I'm, matter I'm, of fact, the white male is the minority in his organization. Is what he's saying. Yeah, but the white male is not a minority. The one making the major decisions on for the damn team. <laughs> exactly. I tell you that. Exactly. See, that's that. that that's the thing. Well, 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 no, we we very diverse, really. Well, our facilities guys, you know, is mm-hmm. personal color, 
No, uh, the person, uh, the guys that's over tickets. <laughs> I mean, give me a break. I so, was like, wow. So, so you know, you can, you can, you can fix it up. You can mm-hmm. dress it up any way mm-hmm. you want to dress it up. But in, I'm talking about impact in terms of how this organization is gonna pan out from my, uh, from a fan's perspective, and 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 the success of the team. There's nobody look like me running anything down there. And he had a guy right there who had proven himself, mm-hmm. significantly proven himself that he was that guy. He's a guy of integrity. A lot of people love the right. Well, exactly. the, the guy loves. I mean, he's done a great job, but not good enough to run the team on a permanent basis. He could good. He's a good band aid guy, but he wasn't good enough to run the team. And now I, again, I come back and say the sound back. I say, you know what? You know, you my back. And by the way. Happy uh, Black History Month. Today's the uh, first day of Black History Month. <laughs> I, 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 I'll be the first person Perfect to say, you know, back, the best way in February, back in February 1st last year, I, I, I was the first guy to say David Tepper, I mean, uh, Frank Wright, just, uh, he's not that dude. Mm-hmm. But but I was wrong, so I'll be, I'll be the first person to say that. But I don't think I'm going to say that. But I don't know. We'll I mean, I, I, we're definitely going to see.